announced on behalf of the Oklahoma Historical Society and the State Historic Preservation Office, I want to congratulate you and your family on this achievement and to thank you for the contribution to the history of Vanita and to the history of the state of Oklahoma. Thank you so very much. The Oklahoma Historical Society recently presented a certificate to Vanita resident Mary Holland, placing her home, the Carselway House at 403 North Gunter Street, on the National Register of Historic Places. Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Bill John Baker also presented Mrs. Holland, who is a tribal citizen, with a plaque from the Cherokee Nation. On this occasion, the Cherokee Nation is so proud of, of one of our citizens and your house that we, oh, we have produced a plaque. Mrs. Holland, who is now 93, moved into the house when she was only five years old. She and her husband returned to the house some years ago once her parents passed away. She said her father loved the house, and she has made sure it has stayed true to its original form. Both Mrs. Holland and her daughters have enjoyed growing up in the house. As children, it was the stairway and sliding up and down the banister. But it was always my chore to go upstairs and get something. And I'd say, oh, do I have to? And instead of coming down the steps, you know, we used this, the rail and slid down. And, and then when the girls came along, they slid down rather than walk down. And then the grandkids decided that was what they wanted to do, but they didn't slide down. They took a big stuffed animal and put it on the stairs. It's been a fun house and lots of happy memories mm -hmm. to think back as, Absolutely. you know, we've always had this house to come to. The Carselway House was constructed in 1895 for Lulu and Fred Kelly. After the Kellys' respective deaths, James and Kate Carselway purchased the property. A member of the Carselway family has owned the property since the initial purchase in the 1920s. The Carselway house has changed very little since the house was built, and at one time even featured a ballroom located on the third floor. Originally, the house had a third story, which was a ballroom. Back in those days, they had little orchestras, and that's where they would entertain. And they had a beautiful ballroom up there, I understand. And then they had a fire. And Mr. Kelly did not refurbish it after the fire. The Cherokee Nation Environmental Office was notified of a rehabilitation request on the house and did an environmental review. When we visited the site and found out the age of the site, um, we contacted the State Historic Preservation Office, which is part of the environmental process, and notified them of the activities and of uh, the significance of the age of the, of the home, which was built in 1895. This is the first house that the Cherokee Nation environmental programs have had put on the National Register of Historic Places. Cherokee Nation housing and rehab programs replaced a claw tub downstairs with a walk-in shower, a higher toilet, and have replaced the flooring. Everything's original. That's beveled glass. And we just tell everybody to be careful with that. And what the, the younger people don't know what that glass above the door is, and that's a transom, and that's the way it was then. And that was for ventilation. And then uh, you'll notice uh, the vent up the, in the ceiling. That was uh, so your Ventilation would go on upstairs too, and that's the way it was. For more information on the Carselway House, check out the Oklahoma State Historic Preservation website. It is www.ocgi.okstate.edu/shpo.